Hey guys, so in this video we are going to talk briefly about the different types of data that you can collect and generally data is classified into two different types primary data and secondary data so primary data is the data that you have specifically collected or data that you are specifically going to collect for the project at hand so if you have a specific marketing research project that you want to do then the data and the information that you gather for this specific purpose is your primary data and generally it's going to be you or your marketing research company who is going to collect that data for this particular project whereas secondary data is data that has been collected already for some other projects or some other marketing research questions that needed to be answered so this data might have been collected by yourself or your company or maybe a third party collected this particular data but the data was collected for a different project or for a different question that needed to be answered so the big difference between primary data and secondary data is that primary data is specific to the project that you want to do right now versus secondary data is data that is generally already been collected for some other purposes now this brings about some advantages and disadvantages of primary and secondary data so as we already said one really really big advantage of primary data is that it will provide you with an answer hopefully to the question that you have so you're doing this marketing research project because you want specific answers your primary data is going to provide you with that answer whereas secondary data was collected for a different project right so because it was collected for a different project it may not answer your question that you want to answer because they were asking maybe some other questions that were looking for some other answers so that's a really really big difference so just as this is one really big advantage of primary data there are also some big advantages of secondary data so secondary data has already been collected so that means that the secondary data is available to you right now so you don't need to spend any time collecting data because the data has already been collected so in terms of time that's a lot of time saving and in many cases because the data is already collected it's cheap because it has already served the purpose that it was intended to serve so you can buy that data in many cases for cheap but for, but for primary data since you have to go through the entire marketing research process to collect that data it's going to be very very expensive and at the same time because you are going through the process of collecting the data figuring out what the variables are and all the things associated with marketing research it's also going to be very very time consuming so primary data is expensive and time consuming whereas secondary data is generally inexpensive and you don't need to spend a lot of time and in many cases government collects a lot of data that you can use for your research purposes in this case the secondary data in many cases will also be free because the government makes those secondary data available to the general public for free so another benefit of primary data is that you are able to trust that data right because the data is collected by you or someone who is working on your behalf while doing this research whereas secondary data might have been collected by somebody you don't know and you are not able to trust if it's government collected data then generally you will be able to trust that data but if it is a third party data that was collected for some other research purposes you don't know who funded that particular research you don't know what were their agendas or what types of research questions that they might were, that they were trying to answer that might have an impact on the types of data that they collected you have no control over the variables that were used for that particular data collection whereas in primary data you are able to trust the data and you're able to also know which variables are collected as well so that's again the positives and negative associated with primary and secondary data also tied along with this particular issue is that you are not sure how accurate the measures are how accurate the data collection mechanism was when the secondary data was being collected right whereas in primary data you are collecting the data and you will make sure that the data is accurate also in terms of the variables that are used or the measures that are used 
you may not the secondary source may not actually fit your requirements so in many cases the secondary sources might use a Likert scale that has seven uh, seven scales on a scale of one to seven whereas you on your research might want a one to five scale now that will create some types of some some problems right similarly in terms of age let's say you want specific demographics of ages right so you want from uh, from uh, let's say age 16 to 25 and from 26 to 30, 35 and 36 to 45 but the secondary data has been collected for 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 then it does not specifically fit the type of data that you want for your specific research purpose right so while it might be useful and provide you with some information it's not accurate or it's not exactly the data that you're looking for which is going to be another problem associated with secondary data also in many cases the secondary data has been collected in the past now you will have an idea of when the data was collected but in many cases what might happen is that the data has been collected and the data might be old right so if the data was collected 10 years ago the information that that particular secondary data is able to provide you will not be as relevant as the information that you might get from your primary data that you are collecting right now right so that's again another issue associated with secondary data so there are both positives and negatives associated with secondary data and primary data and generally how research works and how people conduct marketing research is they will always use both primary data and secondary data and generally they will use the secondary data first first they will dig through all the secondary data that is available out there to figure out if there is any relevant information there or if the question that we have has already been answered exactly the way we want to get it answered in that case you don't need to do primary research at all but if there are some relevant information sources then you can use those relevant information which may not be exactly the information that you want but will provide you with some information when you are designing your marketing research project it may help you solidify or make your research problem more concrete those information might help you figure out what exactly is the research problem for yourself and at the same time it may also provide you with some directions in terms of what are the information sources that are out there what tools and methodologies you might use for your marketing research process may also get some help by going through the secondary research so generally a lot of market researchers will do secondary research first before they start doing their primary research so both of those research work hand in hand so going in going into this a little bit deeper whenever we are talking about primary uh, data and secondary data we should also talk about what are the different sources where you are getting those data right so internal sources and external sources generally when you are talking about secondary data that secondary data may be from an internal source versus an external source so if it's an internal source you can trust its accuracy because it's been collected by your own company or the representatives of your company so your internal sources have conducted the secondary data and many times because you are in the same company and maybe in the same product category a lot of that information will be useful for you right so similarly there are external sources of secondary data as we say like government provides you with uh, data that is already collected there will be third party sources like IRI AC Nielsen that also collect a lot of secondary data now those data will also be helpful for yourself but those are external sources and external sources might have problems with accuracy and at the same time also might be pro might have some other problems that we already talked about when we talked about the problems associated with secondary data now when we talk about primary data generally the sources of primary data can be uh, classified into three different sources one source is the source of communication where you communicate with the consumer or you communicate with the target person with whom you are going to get the information so if you are uh, if so if you are facing certain marketing problems then you might want to communicate with the consumer to figure out what their needs and wants are the price that they are willing to pay what types of features they want in the new product that might be coming out or many other marketing questions so in this case 
uh, what you want to do is you want to communicate directly with the consumer and ask them questions that's one way of collecting data and we see that uh, we uh, and we see that happening when you do like a survey so a company sends you a survey they are trying to communicate with you to find answers to the questions that they might have they might do in uh, phone interviews they might do in-person interviews they might do a focus group all of these are primary data source collection method where they are trying to communicate with the consumer to try to get this primary data now another source of primary data is observational research where you're not communicating with the consumer or the client but what you are doing is you are observing them right so you're observing the consumers as they go through the decision making process or you are observing the consumer who is walking around Walmart trying to buy a specific product or you are observing how the consumer is actually using your product so that you might uh, come up with some ideas right so observational research is when you observe the client or the consumer or the subject to try to find answers to your particular question that you might have. Now there are a lot of new data source that is available as well that can be used as primary uh, data source because of the proliferation of internet like social media, internet, YouTube videos, uh, comments and reviews that are left behind by a lot of different consumers. All of these information sources that are available online can also be used as a source of data when it comes to primary data. So I hope with this video you were able to understand the difference between a primary data and the secondary data. So if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Leave comment and feedback in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.